afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz, and we're here to do Q&A Day. And our question, dang, is from one high voltage one. Hey, thanks, one high voltage one. Is it okay to add, did I do my dang? Is it okay to add ordinary sugar as a set retarder to your mixing, or do you highly recommend to use products designed and marketed for that purpose? I mean, if it's okay to use ordinary sugar, why would you, why would one try to sell some special admixture retarding products? Um, so, one high voltage one, you totally can do that. Using sugar is not a big deal. Or, or I shouldn't say it's not a big deal, but you can definitely use that for hydration stabilization uh, to increase your time to reach initial and final set, uh, even also the development of strength. Um, you know, please bear in mind that the amount of sugar that you're going to be using, it, it's going to vary based on the type of concrete, just as if you're using a chemical admixture, the type of cementitious, the amount of cementitious, your water cementitious ratio, and of course, the time of day, the time of year, uh, as well as any other, you know, additive or admixture that you're using to control the concrete. So bearing that in mind, using sugar is not as easy. It's almost like throwing the concentrate into the truck, and if you don't get your proper mixing in, if for some reason you got a full truck and you throw it at the tail end of mixing, and you don't get, it, it might not even be a 100 revs, might not even be enough to get universal dispersion. The other thing is, the reason why people like using liquid admixtures is because uh, a lot of these admixture companies can combine effects like, you know, uh, hydration stabilization as well as shrinkage reduction or, let's say, uh, slump evolution increase. So it might not be just the hydration stabilization that you're getting out of these specialty products. It might be something so much more. And the last reason to buy these products now, again, remember I said, go right ahead to use the sugar, just be wary that you are using a concentrate, is the convenience. Using a liquid admixture is a lot easier to disperse into the concrete, especially when you can automate it into your critical path of concrete, you know, uh, making and breaking or making and delivering, I should say. Uh, it's a lot easier to get a liquid into that sequence than it is to pay somebody to chop a bag, shake it in through the hopper, and then spray out the hopper to make sure everything was... Uh, in the truck so that's my two cents hopefully you got something out of it one high voltage one let me know if you got any other concrete questions or concrete concerns don't forget to like and subscribe ding that bell for notifications go concrete